Hi, it's Chris Crocker in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'm glad that you are here because um, this forecast is a little more complicated than some and I'm nice to have you here to have the luxury of time to spell things out a little bit and ponder a few things and admit some things that I don't know that I would never do on television. Uh, now here is your 48 hour forecast. I have the upper level winds on here for you as well as the surface features and I've got my eye on that upper level low in the Gulf of Alaska as being the major player in our weather over the next seven days. Now over the next 24 hours we will see some high pressure building. Still the chance of some showers in the mountains tomorrow but I think we're going to be dry in the valleys. And here's Wednesday at 6 p.m. Uh, that upper level low will continue to sneak out of the Gulf of Alaska through the day on Thursday and puts us in a real southwesterly flow and that's going to bump our temperatures way up for Thursday and Friday but it's also going to bring in a lot of instability and a lot of moisture into the region and I feel like this is a deja vu uh, from the past two weekends. This is the third week in a row we've had a moist unstable southwesterly flow going into the weekend and then a upper level trough moving in on Saturday with thunderstorms and cooler weather. It's almost scary how much this forecast looks like the past two weekends. So here we go again. Uh, warming up to a high of 80 on Friday, a great big drop on Saturday, and then we start warming up again um, and we do have a chance of showers both Saturday and Sunday. Now for the next 24 hours um, the showers of Tuesday will continue through the first part of the overnight. By tomorrow morning very very light rain will still be found in North Idaho and Northeast Washington and then those showers will continue to clear as the day goes on with some sunshine by Wednesday evening. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 40s and 50s with the clouds in place quite a bit warmer than last night. We did get down to freezing in Spirit Lake and Republic last night. Uh, tomorrow's highs will be up in the 60s in Sandpoint, 80s for Lewiston, Moses Lake, Wenatchee, 73 in Spokane Valley. Your planning forecast um, tomorrow some clouds to start the day and then we'll have some clearing a high of 70. For Thursday and Friday that is a work in progress. I have a slight chance of showers both days. The best chance of rain in this seven day forecast is Saturday and the possibility of some thunderstorms too. Um, but stay tuned for some minor tweaks. Uh, the theme is the same uh, but the timing on rain will definitely uh, change because this is a very broad brush and I'm hedging some bets and I'm making some educated guesses and I'm going with my gut and I'm averaging out some computer models and I don't really know what the final product is going to look like. This is a rough draft. Don't cash this check until Friday, please. Thank you for watching. Join me tonight on 4 News Now Nightside at 11 o'clock. And I'll be back here tomorrow to see you too. Thanks. Oh, Dios mio.